today's video is a collaboration with my friend Jubara. She also has a cleaning channel. She does really motivating clean with me's too. So her and I decided to collaborate on today's video. So make sure when you are done watching my video, you click the link in the description and go over to her channel and watch her video. And I promise when you are done with our videos, you are gonna get up and clean all the things because it is gonna be a very motivation packed collaboration. If you are coming over from Jubara's channel, hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Jill. I am a homeschooling mama of four kids and I do tons of cleaning and decluttering on this channel. I'm trying so hard to get my house simplified so that it's easier to clean and easier to keep up on. Um, also trying to like implement chore systems for my kids. I'm just you know, overwhelmed all the time, messy all the time, and trying to get on top of that. And I hope that you would consider joining me on this journey and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks for coming over here from Jubara's channel. And I look forward to hearing from you guys in the comments. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I'm taking a little bit of a break today from the decluttering series I've been doing because my house is a wreck and I need to address it. I'm having a really hard time getting up the motivation to get up and clean. Um, we're having a snow day. So as you guys know, it only snows here about twice a year. Today it's snowing. We have a fire going. I've been in a blanket all morning and I've literally done nothing but cuddle in a blanket. I've gone outside in the snow a few times and then I come back and sit by the fire. Anyway, I need to clean my house so doing a video sometimes helps hold me accountable no one is gonna see my house today so I could very well just leave it like this and let it keep getting worse but if I'm doing a video and I get it done and it like motivates me since I'm having such a hard time like making myself get up and do it I'm going to trick myself and just say okay I'm just gonna clean this little area and then I'm just gonna tidy this little area I can't stop once I start so here we go So I know it's kind of hard to see in the video, but I was trying to show you guys like how dirty my floor was right here. Um, obviously we walk in right there with our, uh, through our front door and then we are constantly bringing in logs. We are constantly clean, cleaning ashes out of the wood stove and we bring in little sticks for kindling and it just gets so dirty over here every single day. So this is a definitely a daily task is cleaning up this wood stove area. Of all the magic places in the world I've been to, this is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you. And then over here, this is just a total mess right now. So it snowed unexpectedly. So we went and got our snow clothes out of storage and you know, we don't have a garage, we don't have a mud room or anything like that. So the bins just got left here and um, we had been using them all day this day. And you know, it is what it is. Um, you gotta make do with what you have. And yes, I would love to have a mud room or a garage, but that's just not happening right now. So anyway. So I just put those bins in the kitchen um, for now and started cleaning up this entryway.
you guys will probably notice in this video, just like many of my viewers have, my cat is in every video and she is normally following me around constantly, just playing with stuff. Um, she's only about, oh, I want to say like six or seven months old, so she's very playful and she, when I'm sweeping, she thinks that I'm um, throwing toys for her to run and catch. And her favorite toys are the little foam darts for the Nerf guns. <laughs> Of all the magic places in the world I've been to, this is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you. I lose my breath whenever I see you. So, on the days that I'm not filming a cleaning video, um, like a moment like right now where I'm in here cleaning the living room on a normal day I would say okay kids it's time to clean up the living room or all right um so-and-so clean the dining table so-and-so clean the living room Cade grab the vacuum he is vacuuming in this video but normally when I'm filming I don't have my kids doing much I'm usually just doing it all because you know I'm filming the video and I don't know it's my it's like it's this isn't like my kids channel you know this is mine and so I don't want to make them work on my channel it I don't know do you know what I mean anyway on a normal day one person's doing this while someone's doing that and it's usually a team effort to get the house clean every day um, and I just kind of assign someone to do what I think they're able to do and I go from there I don't know what I do without you. You make me smile. What is it that you do? My life was great till you added colors. Like the moon is the sun, we don't care about the others. You say. Just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. You tell me you'll stay or take me away. Just watching this part, I am realizing that I need to go through like all the books that are in this basket and just all of the stuff that's in this shelf. Um, because I know that there is stuff in this shelf right now that we are not using every day. And the stuff that I don't use every day during my homeschool, I like to keep up in the cabinets in my office area. Here, I'm just showing my kids what they're up to while I'm cleaning. They got cold in the snow, so they're just lounging around now and relaxing, watching a movie. I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna okay, so be... I wasn't gonna move on to the girls' room yet, because I was gonna work my way from the front of the house to the back of the house, but my toddler needs a nap. So she's eating lunch right now, and I'm gonna tackle the girls' room while she's eating lunch. Um, that way I don't have to worry about it while she's sleeping. This is probably the last time you guys are going to see this room before it's makeover. I've been getting more materials in and things for it and so uh, I want to get started on it like ASAP because so right now I'm just getting all the dirty clothes and throwing them out into the hallway like that oh look <laughs> there was a hamper here flat on the ground empty let me go, go, let me go, go. Let me go. I told you I'm not yours anymore. No, I'm not yours. So why are you trying to hold on, to hold on when I'm not there for you? Wanna take a different lane, wanna play my own game, and I don't need you here. So won't you let me go? Wanna take this ball and shame. Okay, so that's actually all I'm gonna do in here is get their dirty clothes out because I am just going to leave the rest of their room for them to clean up. 
So there we go. They will clean the room later when Aubrey is done napping. You guys so like I said this video was filmed two weeks ago I think somewhere like that um, since this I have started you guys are gonna be proud of me all of you guys who hound me about cleaning my dishes before they get washed in the dishwasher I have finally let go of that control and I now let the dishwasher wash my dishes so yes I'm not doing that in this video you can see the steaming hot water that I'm using on all these dishes before they go in the dishwasher but since this video I have started letting the dishwasher do the work go, let me go, go, go. guys okay let me just warn you if you are going to be buying a new stove anytime soon do not get one that has a very deep stove top like this okay it's so hard for me to get all the crumbs out of here every day um, I just have to keep like pinching them with the sponge and it just it takes forever so honestly I let this um, get way too dirty before I clean it um, I feel like I if I had like a glass top or even just like the old-fashioned ones that aren't um, like this like you know how this is just way deep the old ones like there would be a great thing like on top of the burner where you could just take it off and it would be pretty much flat I don't even know if I'm making sense so I'm just gonna stop talking now also I did notice while I was editing I left soap residue on that middle burner the best thing I did and I want you to
guys you know I am loving my branch basics but I didn't have my bathroom cleaner in this bathroom it was in the other bathroom and I was way too lazy and I just grabbed the scrubbing bubbles from under the sink but you guys I seriously felt like I could not breathe after this I felt like that scrubbing bubble smell stayed in my nostrils the entire rest of the day it drives me crazy I did have the window cleaner from Branch Basics in here, so I used that on the mirror. Um, but yeah, the scrubbing bubbles, ugh. I am never gonna do that again. I need to get some more um, bottles so I can have one in every bathroom, and I will probably throw the scrubbing bubbles away because, ugh, nasty. you guys so one of my goals is to keep up on cleaning out from under the couches and stuff um, because one of the problems I have is I got a robot vacuum and I can literally never use it because of this it goes under the couch and it gets stuck on all this stuff so what I want to do is have the kids clean from under the couch every single night before they go to bed because right here all of this is obviously their stuff and then I think I had one slipper of mine under each couch um, so anyway all of this stuff is theirs and I want them to do this every single night it wouldn't be this bad obviously it had been a while since I had done this but I want them to clean out from under the couch every single night that way Every night before I go to bed, I can run my robot vacuum and I don't have to worry about what the heck it's going to get stuck on or what it's going to suck up. 
Um, I don't know. I feel like it would just make my life so much easier because what is the point of me having it if I can never even use it? So anyway, I want to know if anyone else has the problem with the robot vacuum of it going under their couches and or just does anyone have any tips and tricks for the robot vacuum and can you comment them below? Okay, so I'm back in the kitchen now, and now I am just washing by hand all of the dishes that didn't fit in the dishwasher earlier, and just leaving them up here to dry. Now this is the number one hotspot in our house. My husband comes home and dumps his pockets here. We put our mail here. Um, if my husband's been working on something in the house, he'll leave like his tools here. Um, oh my gosh, that was a picture that my toddler ripped up. Um, yeah, so that's what this area is. It always has keys, glasses, phones. Um, yeah, just everything goes here. So I constantly have to do this to keep up on it. Let's leave this place for another place. Alrighty guys, so now in this part it is after dinner. My daughter is doing her after dinner chore and now I am vacuuming the whole house. By this point my littlest two have gone to bed and um, my husband does a little Bible study with the older two and so I am just going around and vacuuming up the entire living space and then um, after this you're going to see that I mop it as well. Um, obviously I do not mop every day you guys but we do live on a property that is pretty much surrounded by dirt and it my floors just get so dirty so I'm using the branch basics concentrate I just put a tiny drop of that in my mop bucket fill the rest up with hot water and that is all I use and it seriously does amazing you will see at the end I pour out the dirty bucket um, into the toilet so that you guys can see how much dirt I cleaned up off my floors and okay also this is by far my favorite mop. So I get asked all the time which one I love the most because I use a steam mop sometimes and then I use this. I usually use the steam mop in the kitchen. Um, occasionally I'll use them in the bathrooms, but honestly, I love the steam mop itself, but what I don't love is the cord. So what I love about this spin mop is that I can just go around, I don't have to worry about a cord, and it actually does an amazing job. So here is a really sticky, nasty spot that I found. I had been noticing that spot for days, and look how fast it came up. Like, 
This mop is wonderful. The Branch Basics Concentrate also adds to that, so that stuff is amazing. Um, but yeah, so I'm pretty much just going around all of the wood floor areas in my house and then I mop the bathroom last and you guys will see, um, you will see the dirty water go into the toilet. So stay tuned for that. Jump the fence before the summer begins And getting cool in the summer heat with you, my sweet Sitting in the back of your car Wishing for this road to take us far Now I've been away too long I'm going home Oh, sweet memories of a town gonna do it for today's cleaning video. Friday's video should be another part of my decluttering series, so you don't want to miss it. All right guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss when I post videos. And yeah, 